It is 11 o'clock. It is the 18th day of November. And I am the man who puts the humbug in the bar. The OG GM with another OG GM unboxing. So there is a little bit of a story behind this before we unbox it. As you know, in the past, I have done an occasional food challenge. Um, why? Because I like food. Two, I like to find weird food. Three, it was always sort of a thing like if I hit, you know, 50 subs, I'd do a food challenge. If I did 100 subs, if I'd do a food challenge. I'd do a food challenge for Christmas. I'd do a food challenge for Thanksgiving. Whatever. Um, one of my followers, a gentleman by the name of DM Bloodworth, liked my food challenges. He liked the little catchphrase for my food challenges, which was, I eat it so you don't have to. Now, I haven't done any of the extravagant food challenges like let's try every Cheeto, but I've done a few. Um, so he said, you know what you should do? You should order this book. And then when it comes out, do the recipes. So I ordered the book. It showed up today. And here it is. Today we are unboxing Heroes Feast, the Dungeons and Dragons cookbook. I don't even know where to start because how much food is actually ever mentioned in D&D other than rations. So let's take a look. So right on the cover, we've got the classic D&D &D bar scene. We've got uh, Moloch in the back representing, you know, always we've got to have the Moloch. We've got a bunch of uh, iconic looking adventurers. She's eating a pig. He's eating uh, what looks like cinnamon rolls. Uh, he's got some kind of pot of stew. Uh, there's a salad. There's another i don't know what that is and on the back we've got obviously we're in the yawning portal because look there's the the famous well there's some guy wearing a cowboy hat i think that's artemis uh some people going down into under mountain there's elminster elminster right there buddy elminster and that's probably tasha because she's got the witch hat and everything so let's take a look at the D, &D cookbook the hero's feast the official dungeons and dragons cookbook by Kyle Newman, John Peterson, Michael Witter, recipes by Adam Reed, photographs by Ray Kitchenson. We've got some pictures of food. Uh, we got another picture of food. I have a feeling a lot of this book is going to be wasted on pictures. We got a picture of spice. All right, so we got introduction about this book, Creating Food and Water. Worlds of Flavor, Tips for Magical Cooking. Then we got Human Cuisine, Elven Cuisine, Dwarven Cuisine, Halfling Cuisine, Uncommon Cuisine, Elections and Ales. We got an afterword about playing with your food. We've got some acknowledgments. We've got the About the Offers, and we've got the Index. And oh, there's another picture. Typical Wizards of the Coast. We're going to waste 90% of the fucking book on pictures. Let's get to an example recipe. Oh, you know. Now, most of these I won't be able to cook because I don't have an oven. So I don't know how many of these are going to be able to cook. Oh, my God. Just so much pace. Oh, Jesus. I mean, just all this. I mean, already you're losing points for the amount of pages you wasted on pictures. It should be recipe, picture of what it looks like. Recipe, picture of what it looks like. Recipe, picture of what it looks like. Okay. So let's go, we're hu I'm a human, let's go to human cuisine. Let's go to traveler stew. See, this is what a quick cookbook should look like. Here's our recipe, here's a picture of what it looks like. So travelers of stew, we need uh, one fourth cup of all purpose flour, kosher salt and freshly ground pepper, uh, half a, one and a half pounds of beef stew meat, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, one cup of dark beer, Ooh. four cups of low sodium beef broth, one teaspoon of sweet paprika. I could actually make this, I think. Uh, you need a large bowl. Uh, you need a large, heavy pot. I don't have a large, heavy pot, but I could get one. You pour everything in the pot. You cook it for about 30 minutes, and then you serve hot. So that one seemed relatively easy. I don't know, you know. Uh, basically, this is something you can make in a crock pot. Um, and I, well, I had a crock pot, but it broke. They tend to break. Um, iron rations. Okay. okay, here we go. This is the only thing that should really be in this book because it's the only food you ever hear really mentioned in D&D is 
iron rations. So can we make iron rations? We need some cheese, half a, one and a fourth pounds of cheese. We need 10 ounces of hard salami. We need 12 pitted dates, dried figs or dried apricots. We need one cup of nuts such as almonds, pecans, cashews, pistachios, or whatever. We need four handfuls of wheat crackers. We need four whole pieces of fresh fruit. Uh, divide the cheese, salami, dried fruit, nuts, crackers, and fresh food among four plates and serve. Otherwise, combine all in a bag and divide evenly among individuals. Okay, so the only thing would be the fresh fruit would go bad, so I'd probably replace that with dried fruit. I could easily make this. Um, the third one, Sword Coast Seafood Value Bays. Yeah, I'm not making that. The fourth one, uh, Pan Fried Knucklehead Trout. Nope, that's not happening. The fifth one, Amphil Braised Beef. Dutch oven. Who has a Dutch oven? <laughs> uh, ooh, golden brown. Yeah, I mean, this is clever. And I will make some of these. Um, and it was, I mean, I don't know. It was like 13 bucks. And I had coupons. Um, if you have a kitchen and an oven and a refrigerator and the budget and you feel like having some fun, check these recipes out. Buy this book from Seth's Games Anime here in Ventura or um, North Coast Roleplaying in um, Humboldt County or any friendly local game store. Don't buy this from Amazon. Don't buy this from Barnes & Noble. So support a friendly local game store by buying it from them. Thank you, Seth. Um, so yeah, let's check out what um, um, dwarf cuisine is. Smoked sausage and kraut with dwarven mustard. Oh my god, that actually sounds good. Um, it only needs a, a saucepan. Um, three teaspoon vegetables oil, one yellow onion, one large apple, one teaspoon su sugar, one teaspoon juniper, juniper berries. What the? Four cups of sauerkraut, kosher salt, one and a half cups of water, two cups of dark beer, six smoked sausages, one fourth cup of stone ground mustard, one fourth cup of sour cream, large pot, medium heat, put everything in the pot, cook, uh, beer, stir together with mustard and sour cream and serve. That actually sounds doable and delicious. Um, so some of these I can do. Most of these I can't because I don't have an oven. Um, maybe when I move, I will definitely get an oven. I'll be able to do all of these at some point in time. I don't really like fish, but I'll probably do it just because so at some point in time i will attempt to make every recipe in this book once i have an actual kitchen right now all i have is a microwave a hot pot and a george foreman grill so half of these i can't make but anything that i could make in like you know just a pot or on the grill or you know whatever those i can try and make so we'll definitely try some of these probably during the christmas break while i'm recovering from my surgery Thank you, DM Bloodworth, for recommending that I pick up this book. It's definitely clever. It's definitely fun. It's definitely got some amazing art. Um, oh, and there's a section on booze. That you know, let's let's see if what they have in booze. Uh, tea mead. Oh, hey, does anybody want to know the recipe for mead? Uh. Cinnamon sticks, cloves, water, fresh ginger, company, uh, honey, uh, blackberry, or rosemary jam, or kosher salt. That doesn't sound very alcoholic. How about dwarven mold wine? You need uh, brandy. Here's one called the Mind Flare that you're going to need vodka for. Here's one that requires rum and absinthe. There's something you know everybody can get there. Yeah, it's clever, beautiful pictures. Um, but again, tons of wasted space. Okay, like all this is fluff and art before we actually get to the recipes. As somebody who has cookbooks, as somebody who has a mother who collects cookbooks, I guess I'm something of an expert on cookbooks. All cookbooks should have is an introduction, recipe, picture. Bam, that's it. So I give this a 12 out of 20. Uh, 
way too expensive for what it is. Half the recipes I can't make and half the recipes most people can't or won't make. I mean, who's got a fucking Dutch oven? Uh, check it out from your local friendly local game store. Thank you, DM Bloodworth, for recommending this. I'll post a link to his channel. And I look forward to challenging myself with these recipes. Till next time, if you appreciate this content and want to see more and want to actually see me try and make the recipes, comment down below. If you think I should shut, shut the fuck up and stop posting, comment down below. If you haven't had a chance to uh, subscribe yet and you want to know what's going on with the holiday jingle jam vlog miss OGGM adventures, subscribe. Help me hit 300 subs by New Year's Eve. And, you know, it's the holidays, so if you're feeling generous, don't be a Scrooge and consider supporting me. I will talk to you hungry losers later. <laughs> Dwarven Ale.